Hey guys, welcome back to the Skills with Arlo channel. This is going to be a video covering how to use one of my favorite objects that I keep on my desk, and these are my fountain pens. I started collecting them in 8th grade, and I really enjoy using them, so I'm going to be showing you guys how you can use them and how you can really use any fountain pen that you end up getting at any price point. Um, so this is my little collection, those are the inks on the left there. Got some of the handmade pen cases that I showed in some previous videos. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. Um, so the first pen, well, the pen that we're going to be using today is the first pen I ever got. It's a Lamy Safari. It's a beginner level pen. And so I'm going to be showing you guys, first of all, how to either change ink or put an ink or clean the pen, which is very important. You don't really have to clean ball points, but ma maintenance is a key part of using a fountain pen. And it's kind of fun. So what we're going to do first is we're going to let out all of the old ink. As you can see, it spews it. Even when you can't write, there's still ink left in the pen that's either dried up or you just can't see it. And so what we use for this, I use a bulb syringe. And so you take water from one side and you push it through the feed, which is where the ink usually goes through. And this washes out all of the ink. You can see you really want to push it in so it doesn't spew out like that, but it happens. Um, and so slowly push water through the feed you can see inky water is coming out the other side cleaning out you're going to want to do this multiple times just because especially if you're changing ink colors like i am you really want to make sure the pen is fully cleaned out um, and then you're also going to want to clean the converter which is what we store the ink in that will get to that in a second Um, so once you've done that, we can look, we see that you can really tell by dipping in water and then rubbing the nib against a tissue. Don't use a paper towel, but tissues for the most part are okay. Um, now we need to clean out this part. You can't use the syringe for this, but because it's a converter, you see you twist it up and even though there's no ink in it, you can see it's leaving a big streak of the ink that wasn't there and it's not pushing anything out. So we're gonna go to the clean water, fill it up, by twisting it and it makes a little vacuum um, and put it out and you have to do this several times to really get it clean and then so you could put in a cartridge that's what I have there but we're going to be using a converter the advantage of that is that you can use whatever ink you want and it's reusable and better for the environment and and for your money so we're going to be putting in some ink but first because we're changing inks you don't have to do this but if you really want to deep clean it, you can use a pen cleaner solution. So I just put in one cartridge worth of that and some water um, and then empty it out and then clean it out with water again because you have to get the solution all the way out of there. Um, and then once that is done, we're going to be moving on to filling up the pen with ink. I've chosen this Waterman Serenity Blue. I'll put a link in the description. It's one of my favorites. And so you put the pen all the way in and you twist the converter. I know it's a bit off camera, but you twist the converter and you see it fill up with the ink. Um, and then once it's filled up, you can see, sort of, um, the pen's gonna be dirty at the front. We'll focus real quick. You can see there's ink all over the top of it. So just take your um, tissue and wipe it off. And then let's get into how to actually write with the pen. So I've seen a common mistake is that some people will write upside down. Um, it doesn't work as well and it's not how it's intended. You want to write with the nib side up so you can see you can see all the logos and stuff and you can see it makes a more full line. Another important mistake people make is that they press too hard. You really don't have to put much pressure for a fountain pen, which is really nice. Um, and so I was just turning these scribbles into a little drawing. You can't really shade with fountain pens very well. They have a very consistent ink flow, which is extremely good for writing. And so you can just make little drawings like this, but not much shading. You could do cross hatching, I guess. And so just doodling with your fountain pen will really help you get a feel for it. Um, and then also get some other types of fountain pens. So this one has a stub nib on it, which means that instead of making a point, it's slightly flat. And so what that does is that it makes the sort of block style calligraphy that you see in a newspaper. Um, and so as you can see, when you go down, the lines are thicker, and when you go sideways, the lines are skinnier. 
so as you make a little pound sign you can see that very clearly and so they make bigger and smaller ones of these um, and then this one is a comic pen and the specialty about it is that it has a flexible nib and so you see when I push down the two parts spring apart and what that does is it spreads the ink wider and so I'm going to demonstrate that so you dip it get some off and then when you go down you push down harder and when you go up you let it very soft so it makes that really nice calligraphy like effect I mean it is calligraphy it's not calligraphy like um, but that's going to be it for this video this was sort of the season finale um, there will be more videos in the future, but because this was a summer project and school is starting, I'm going to be taking a break from weekly uploads, but there will still be more videos. Um, so that's going to be it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff, and I will see you in the near future.